Hello everybody, this is Roman Bauer. I'm the spokesperson of the Biodynamic Collaboration and here I'm going to present a tutorial on the usage of Biodynamo. So uh, Biodynamo is a software framework uh, based on uh, C++ um, in order to simulate complex systems, in particular biological systems comprising cells uh, and neurons, um, in order to to, to, to model and better understand those systems. So, in this example here we will focus on cancer growth. So we will simulate a simple system of uh, cancerous growth um, and also how this cancer then can be treated in simulation. And uh, uh, in order for to do that I, I want to just briefly explain the fundamentals of this modeling approach. So Biodynamo is a, is a so-called agent-based software framework so it allows to create agent-based models and these agent-based models are a class of models that allow to model systems, complex systems by uh, particularly modeling elements of those systems as autonomous agents. That's why it's called agent-based modeling. So we model how the individual elements interact with one another but also with the environment uh, in which they reside and how they change their behaviors based on their own rules, local rules. You will see a very simplified uh, uh, schematic of an agent-based model where essentially cells uh, can uh, move around uh, so each cell would be an autonomous agent that obeys rules that could be genetically specified and uh, these cells can move around and uh, depending on the context uh, like for example their environment so this cell for example could sense that there is another cell nearby and uh, depending on this uh, make a certain decision or behave in a certain way and this is uh, an agent based model if there are uh, multiple m uh, models of this kind of uh, agents that can interact with their local neighborhood and behave according to internal rules and this is in contrast to the not agent based uh, approach which uh, would essentially uh, have a, a global supervisor um, as uh, shown or visualized by this green star uh, which somehow has knowledge of all the states of the cells and gives them instructions and that is not what agent-based modeling is about it's really based on local rules self-organizing rules and one is interested into observing what is going on on the system level because often what is happening on the local level is not very intuitively giving rise to what one can observe on the global level. Uh, here you see uh, an example of this in biology where essentially uh, genes uh, uh, specify what cells are doing and those genes are influencing what cells do in their environment like they could for example make it behave in a certain a certain way and make it secrete certain chemicals and then on the other way uh, around cells can sense what is going around uh, in, in their local environment they can for example sense chemicals and this again will change the gene expression so this is a very complex relationship and agent-based models allow to model this kind of relationships and so uh, here is the, the website of the Biodynamo project where you can download the code it is open source and uh, importantly the goal is that also people that don't have much knowledge in uh, programming or computing ha have the, the means to, to simulate and model their own um, uh, little models and, and create hypotheses and so that's what ultimately we want to achieve is that we can really have 
people from different backgrounds, non-specialist programmers, uh, create nicely and biologically plausible models using BioDynamo. So I hope uh, that makes sense uh, with regards to these explanations of the agent-based modeling approach. If you have any questions on this, please uh, get in touch via uh, the contact addresses listed on the BioDynamo website or directly with me via roman.bauer111 at gmail.com. And uh, as a next step, I would suggest then to install BioDynamo. Uh, currently, um, um, Ubuntu and uh, Mac uh, uh, is supported there. Uh, and also there, if you should have any problems, please get in touch. We are happy to help you also because it helps us to uh, gain more experience in, in, in the kind of errors that one faces. Um, and so see you at the next tutorial video which will be about cancer modeling um, simulations.